getting ready for cycle two. I'm nervous. I'm thinking positive about it. I'm excited about it. I just really hope that it takes. Um, but yeah, wish us luck and good luck to all you baby mamas out there trying. I could feel it, I could feel it, I could feel it in the air around me. Um, we ordered a few different things for this cycle, one of which being, I'm sure that ladies out there who have been trying to conceive for some time are familiar with the Stork OTC, which is the over-the-counter, um, basically fertility assistant. Um, I don't even know exactly what to call it. I'd have to check the packaging when I get home, but I'll show you guys that for sure. This cycle, we are doing, um, our second at-home insemination try. I'm hoping that this time will be the time that it works. We're waiting until I'm closer to ovulation to try this time um, only because of our situation. I don't have a husband who is just, you know, giving out all this free sperm all the time. So we definitely have to use our time very, very, very wisely and just be really smart about it. So um, we did order a few things this time. So the stork being one of them, I'll show you guys that when I get home. <sighs> Getting ready for cycle two. I'm nervous. I'm thinking positive about it. I'm excited about it. I just really hope that it takes. Um, but yeah, wish us luck and good luck to all you baby mamas out there trying. Um, and yeah so when I get home though later I will show you the stork that we got the stork OTC it's $79.99 um, I ordered them on CVS.com and had them delivered and if you use the promo code which I'll put down in the description save more all caps no spaces um, it'll save you 15% for orders under $100 and if you order two of the storks which is gonna take you over the $100 mark then you end up saving 20% which is what we did um, just because I've read mixed reviews on the thing like I swear like half of them were like five star oh my god I was having trouble with infertility for 10 years and then we finally got pregnant and then there were others that were like oh it malfunctioned or I couldn't figure it out or the buttons didn't work the way that they were supposed to so we got two just in case um, so yeah I'll show you that when I get home right now I have to run into sprouts and grab a couple things a couple groceries so uh, yeah all right hey guys so here is the stork OTC that I was telling you about um, at home conception aid the only thing that sucks about these things is that they're single use and they're 80 bucks each but I guess that is way less expensive than uh, in vitro and fertility treatments and whatnot um, so yeah there's a video for it and I'll try and find the link and put it in the description um, so basically there's two parts to it there's the applicator um, and then the conceptacle the conceptacle for heterosexual couples can actually be used as um, like a condom, like basically you wear it, you do the deed, and then when you pull it off and separate the condom from the cervical cap, then you put the cap in the applicator. In our case, obviously, we're just going to put the specimen in here and then put it in the applicator and then I would insert it. And you can leave it in for four to six hours and basically it um, helps the the little swimmers swim in the right direction, keep it up there near the cervix. Um, so that's this. When I open it, I'll show you, but I'm, we're probably not going to open it until we use it because they're not sterile. Like, they're not, you know, individually wrapped. They're just inside plastic in here, so they don't recommend opening it until you're ready to use it. So there's that. That is what we're using for cycle two. And uh, fingers crossed. Hey guys, check this out. It's my second ovulation test of the day. So first I did the Wombo and like, look, these things don't even get that dark to begin with. Like I did it and I was like, holy crap, that is super dark. This morning it was nowhere near that dark. I'm gonna see if I can find the other one and show you. So I took my clear blue, right? And now this wand goes inside here when you test, but if you pull it out, you can actually look at what the lines look like on the inside. And I mean, look, those are identical. Those are just as dark as one another which is pretty damn cool. So which means we're going to do our insemination tonight. Um, let me see if I can get the wampa from this morning. Okay, I found it. Okay, so look. Look at the difference. <clears throat> the bottom one is from this morning, and then that is from, like, 
honestly, it had only been maybe an hour since the last time I peed. I just got like a weird, when I start to ovulate, I get this weird sensation like I get really hot, I start sweating, my face gets really oily. And so I was like, what is going on? My body's all out of funk. Check that out. That's just from like 8.30 this morning to like 5.30 this evening. Like the difference is crazy. So, cycle two, today's the insemination day. Do